wait, you don't watch people being mad, do you? You just skip cinematics. I didn't skip this one. <laughs> Increases damage dealt by Lava Lash. That sounds good. Yes, Sarah! Yes, Sarah. Cool. I have no idea they're both damage dealing upgrades, so I'll just pick one. How do you I like, am um, ready. How do you like Fury so far? I think it's going quite well. You're figuring out what skills to use, yep. I'm just using the buttons they told me to and you the know, shiny the, buttons, yeah. The shiny ones and <laughs> <laughs> No, I I I haven't really looked into um just using the basic um rotation thing. Um, you know, like Bloodthirst, uh, Furious Slash, and Raging Blow, and those kind of things. But I haven't really looked into, I don't know, the shouts and the... Mm, right, right, right. Yeah. Oh, yes, Sarah. I didn't came that well prepared. <laughs> and I have to say, it's been a long time since I really played it, so I have no clue anymore. Mm. Pretty much forgot about it. Well, thankfully they have um, made classes quite a bit easier. Like the Death Knight one. That's just push whatever button shines. Yeah, that's just smash everything and you get it done. Mm hmm. Why do you think I chose it as my main? <laughs> <laughs> if only they had better I'm not survivability. Ashamed to, I'm not ashamed to admit I go for easy. Oh, that's why you like me so much. Ah. <laughs> It's all clear now. <sighs> Once I said it, it came in my mind. Oh, what did I say now? <laughs> <laughs> I was just waiting for the column. Didn't take long. <laughs> mm -hmm. What, did you expect me not to make use of that? No, oh, you're the one that's saying that you are easy. Hey, just for you, eh? <laughs> hey. Cinematic time! Woo! Hey, won't skip. No, bye, you, Sarah. I need to find a way to get that last bit when she moves up in the sky with the stars to see if I can get that as a background. I can it's easily nice. get a picture of that for you. Oh, that will be awesome. You use 920 times 1080p, right? For your monitor? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Yeah, that's easy enough. I am well impressed with my sister, man. How well it performs. I hope that the quality will also show in uh, in the episodes. I was watching one of her first episodes, the mic quality and whatnot. Damn. <laughs> Still, it wasn't bad. Mm. It's got a lot of views as well. When I uh, tried searching for the episodes, one of the first uh, search terms that came up was actually our episode part one. <laughs> mm hmm. Shall we head on over to Braden's Brook? Till how long do you have, by the way, tonight? Uh, till whenever. Oh, sweet, six in the morning, here we come! <laughs> okay, maybe say until I get tired. <laughs> here at six in the morning, here we come! Woo! <laughs> Got some Red Bulls in ya, good to go! No? 
Uh, maybe. Um, we finished it all in one go. Yeah. Hmm. Then we can focus on the fun part. Farming artifact power and stuff. <laughs> yeah. And we'll make True. amazing episodes. Yay. <laughs> Gearing up. Yay. Broken Shore. Oh my god. The Broken Shore will entertain us for months to come. <laughs> can you imagine if the Broken Shore was like the final content of Legion? Wow. Hmm. Right, so here we have Bradensbrook. Bradensbrook is a part of Gilneas that moved away before they all turned Worgen. And they settled here, near Valshira. And for a time, things were good. Things were excellent. They had Bradensbrook, and they had the town, it was all great. But they also have um, this area right here, which I'm desperately trying to remember what it was called. Uh, Blackrook Holds? Yeah, pretty sure Blackrook Holds. And uh, Blackrook Holds been infiltrated by Dreadlord. Of course, because it's always a Dreadlord. And um, they've taken the spirit of Lord Kurtalas Ravencrest, which was like this mighty epic general during the War of the Ancients, a war that took place 10,000 years ago. And uh, yeah, now the spirits think that everybody else is their enemy and they're lashing out, which is uh, it's not a great situation to find yourself in if you're a village. Now, would it be? No, not really. So, we're helping out Granny Morrow with saving the crops and then bringing the crops in and shooting down vultures out of the sky. I do like this uh, this atmosphere. It's the same as uh, the, 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 the... The the darker what the now, what? Uh, Duskwood, I mean. Ew, Duskwood. Yeah. yeah you think I so? I always like, yeah. Have you tried out the uh, potions from the Dark Moon Fair? Potions? No. Yes, ma'am. They have added potions. Uh, black ink potions, they're called. And um, what they do is they turn the screen darker. Like an actual dark night. It looks so cool. Oh, I need to try it. Mm-hmm. It's next week, I think, isn't it? Yep, yep. Okay, one more over there. All right, I got okay. the corn and the uh, falcons for Granny. I still need six enemy. Yeah, okay, but you got the corn and the falcons, yeah? Yeah. Okay, you can turn those in with Granny. Uh, we have Donut to go back to her. But yeah, those potions, I've got like... <laughs> I think 10 stacks in my bank, just if I want to take dark recordings in the future. Nice. And they only cost a couple of gold pieces to buy as well. I hope they're going to turn them into a, a toy at some point, or maybe a setting in-game that would turn knights into actual dark knights. That would be nice. Mm-hmm. Maybe use the potions as a testing ground, because the feedback has been amazing. I have not seen a single comment from people saying like, oh my god, this sucks. They, they all find it's amazing. So here we're saving Mayor Hifro's daughter, Penelope. But that's not the only one we're gonna save here. Because did you know? Did you know that already? What? I'll show you and then you can tell me if you're ready new or not. Okay, show me. Well, first we gotta clear the way. You see this burning building here? Oh, I've been in there. Oh, you've been in there. So you know about the puppy. Yeah, it's upstairs, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Good old Grumpy. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's odd that the quest doesn't actually uh, show up it on your minimap. It doesn't show up, no. I, I, I think I went here in here by accident thinking that the treasure was here. Oh my god, my health went down. Mm -hmm. Same here. <laughs> Let me heal you up. Mmm, take my healing. Mmm, feel it. Yeah. Feels good, doesn't it, baby? Feels a lot healthier. Well, I'll take it. U usually I get a lot more romantic response to that, but okay, I'll take it. <laughs> Feels a lot healthier. Like uh. You can heal me up anytime, baby. Mm -hmm, mm. Ooh, whisper to me. Ooh! <laughs> Right, so I found my new uh, mobile alarm. Uh, I will take that voice clip and use it. <laughs> I 
You can use it. It's okay. Only. Okay, we got good old bird hat. You got the kill for that as well, right? Yeah. Nice. Right. And I was about to say we're nearly done with all shit out. We got like a whole part in front of us still. Farewell. Farewell. Thank you. And we now need to kill those six. Oh god, it's Nomi. Um, Nomi, don't. Nomi. No. I don't want. I have sent that dude so many resources. <gasps> Like, unreal amount of resources, and he sucks. Oh. Hiya! Get him, Fury! Get him! I'm warning, killing him all, yeah! <laughs> What's yeah. your uh, artifact ability, by the way? Let me check. Uh. Grants the Odin's Fury ability, which unleashes massive fire damage on nearby enemies. Oh, hmm. cool. I know from arms that you get, like, spikes out of the ground, which places a debuff on those around you. Nice Ooh, touch. that's cool as well. Mm-hmm. Yeah, what do you think of the artifact system? I like it. Um, I like the different things and... Um, you can still, I mean, you can still transmog them and things like that if you don't like the looks. Uh, but I like uh, that you have to, uh, each class have the way to get them, each spec and things like that. It's, uh, yeah. So you're well in favor of the artifact system, yeah? Yeah, I am. And what about uh, your alts then? One day going to get an artifact to the weapon as well, and at some point... It will. I mean, you don't have to do everything for for the alts. Just the, the to get the weapon is a simple, simple quest line. But depending on what you do want to do with the alts, it's. Uh, I mean, I use some of the alts just for profession, so I don't mind if they don't get the high level they can be. It's the same as with gear. I mean, they don't need high level gear and things like that. So. Mm -hmm. Where do we go? Uh, you need to talk to Jared, and Jared will, uh, once you've turned on the quest, talk to Jared, and he will take you on a little ride with you. Oh, yeah. And here he tells about trying to find Mayev. And the last we saw of Mayev was in the novel Wolfheart. And in the novel Wolfheart, Mayev was a little bit homicidal. She uh, could not appreciate that Malfurion and Toronto were thinking about letting the High Elves back into their, into their society. And she nearly killed Malfurion as well. And then, near the end of the book, Jared confronted his sister. And he's like, don't do it, my F. She's like, ha 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 ha, I will. And then he scared her away. And now in Legion, he says along the lines of, I immediately thought that my F was evil. But of course, something else controlled her. I was such a fool! Which kind of just nullifies everything that happened in Wolfheart. Which kind of sucks, but then again, I can understand it. Um, they want to bring back Illidan in the storyline. Of course, if you bring back Illidan, you also want to bring back Mayev. But it still sucks that they had to move that um, story development. I'd have loved to see a better explanation as to what happened with Mayev and whatnot. Especially if you like the lore. Yeah. <laughs> that is usually a bonus if you like the lore. And here you got an inspector thrown behind him, and then he will uh, give you the next quests. But yeah, for the artifact system, I quite like the system as well. I just can't imagine that if you actually want to play alts, it's going to be a pain in the ass to keep up with all of them. Yeah, that's true. You got all the alts, yeah? Well, for, yeah. <laughs> all the alts. All the, all quests. the alts. <laughs> you got all, all the, the alts, alts, yeah? I've got all the quests. Good. It's like the same as I like to have all professions max leveled, and um, yeah, that's gonna be a pain. Mm, I suppose so, because they're also dungeon quests for professions and whatnot, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, I suppose so. But then professions are not that key when it comes to experience end game content. True, like, I professions just like are to a have bonus them. thing. Yeah. I think that for me, if, if they're going to continue with this artifact system in the future, which I would love to see, um, maybe add something like you can send over 
Imagine, first of all, for one character with multiple specs, if you earn artifact power for one weapon, it should flow over into all of the weapons. And then mm -hmm. for alt, imagine something along the lines of you have earned a million artifact power on your main. Then you can pay X amount of resources to send over a million artifact power to whatever alt you want. Yeah, so you could easily change into, if you want to change your main, that you, there's an easier way to do so that you don't get stuck uh, with yeah. the same. You still have to yeah. do it with one character, which is understandable. Yeah. yeah. But not on every single one of them. Yeah, I agree on that. That will be a, a better system. But the whole um, upgrade system, miniature talent system, the whole story behind it that they developed for each and every artifact. I remember going to uh, BlizzCon two years ago, they gave us the headquarters tour. And they actually mentioned while we were there that um, the project of, of giving an artifact to every single class and then multiple specs may have been a little bit too much to handle. So to see how it actually turned out in-game and that they were able to deliver on it. Not every artifact was as magical as the other one. Like, Priest one was just a copy of RK Mage. Which, you know, is sad for the priests. Um, overall, I'm well impressed with what they delivered on that department. Oh, I'm um, just, I oh, hope they, uh, they will keep it, but there should be an easier way to just, um, that's the only thing, actually, I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think that they balanced out the traits really well. I don't think that the traits are too powerful. Of course, legendaries is a whole different uh, subject to tackle, but for the traits themselves, I, don't, I never had the feeling that... Um, Classes were severely overpowered when it came when it mm -hmm. came to having different talents. But then again, I guess you also unlocked them rather quickly. The major ones, anyways. Not all of them, not fully maxed out, mm -hmm. but you did get the basic ones real quick. I system. don't think I'm not sure what I think about um, with the legendary system. I think it's bullshit. Absolute bullshit. Yeah, it's uh, it's so random, and of course, uh, it dungeon legendaries have been on random drops as well. Yeah, but not to this scope, yes. though. No. And not for opening up a Blinktron package, for example. Um, it comes with a lot of problems. It, it removes the feeling of it being legendary. Because, you know, it, it drops as random as blues, it drops as random as epics, it just takes longer for it to drop. Mm. Not to mention that when it comes to legendaries, not all legendaries are equal. Some drastically change uh, how well you play with a character. So when it comes to that regard, and you have two uh, players, one plays a lot uh, in the game, tries really, really hard at getting better at it. While the other one um, just goes lucky on a legendary and does better damage mm -hmm. or does better healing or better tanking, that absolutely yeah. blows. It comes down to who gets more lucky. And I don't think that in every aspect of the game uh, should be available. True. At least with the legendaries that you should like the, in raids, that dropped in raids, at least you need to you needed to be capable of doing the raids. Yeah. And that's... Uh, gave you a certain uh, you needed to have a certain I don't know gear as well yeah and with the random legendaries and although it's been a while since they did random legendaries though if I remember correctly like when was the last time that you had a full pledged random legendary drop <laughs> those are the really old right yeah like Forest Doll in the Sunwell I remember was there anything during Wrath of the Lich King a random legendary drop I know Uruar had the mm. one where you had to pick up the items but that's not random. No, 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 no. That's getting a quest mm -hmm. chain. But that's not a random drop, so I think... No. I'm trying to remember if Cataclysm had what, but Cataclysm had the mage quests. Uh, after Cataclysm, we had Mr. Pandaria, which had the Refion quest line, Warlords had the Ring quest line. So random drops mm -hmm. is, is a relic of the past, I imagine. So, yeah, I, I much prefer the um, the quest lines themselves, to be honest. Yeah, even if it meant farming for it and things like that. Yeah, but at least it was 
um, effort. At least you know at boards. some point, like you knew in uh, an X amount of weeks, you would have it. Mm -hmm. Not to mention that my least favorite part of the legendary quest lines of the past were the random drop chance. Do you remember Throne of Thunder, where you had a random drop chance on those um, tablets that you had to collect? Yeah, well, painful. And uh, which one, sorry? That was with the uh, Refion quest line. He sent you into Throne of Thunder, oh, yeah. and you had to get uh, the tablets. And eventually they made it 100% drop rate, but just goes to show that the one part that I really disliked about old legendary quest lines was random drop chance. And what do they do with Legion? They make all of it a random drop chance. And it, it's on, on paper, it's a nice idea. The more you play the game, the bigger your chance at a legendary becomes. But, uh, but it isn't now. How come? No, it isn't, because uh, like you said earlier, you could play, a, like, you could be a fresh level 110 and just play once a week and be lucky. Mm, yes, but in that regard, it was more about what kind of legendary do we get? Mm. Like, you, you can quote-unquote farm legendaries now if you go to uh, the Broker Shore and you farm nether shards. You could use those nether shards to buy uh, the gear to try and, and force a legendary out. It's, of course, still a, r a very small chance. But it also comes down to what legendary do you get. And that can make such a massive difference uh, when it comes to playstyle. There's a treasure chest in the water. I see. Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. We protect those we love. Ishnu Allah. So here we are on the Hondo Mayef, who um, has made our way here. After Illidan was taken away by Gul Daniel. And we also find that some demon hunters were on the track of their lord Illidan. And they also found a way being a prison here. We gotta, we gotta go help them out be heroic and stuff. I like that I can cleanse their buffs away. It's a nice touch. Cleanse away? Mm-hmm. When they become uh, incorporeal, ethereal. I can remove that. And this demon hunter right here is having a little bit of trouble controlling the demon within. So he has to be put down. Black Rook hold the demons! Putting down my old dog. I thought the other day, a few weeks ago, that I would have to get him put to sleep because it, it wasn't doing well. But she, yeah, thank God I didn't. So you thought that you had to put your dog down, or...? Well, I thought it, I would have to bring it to the vet and that he would, because uh, he couldn't stand on his uh, legs anymore, and he's a bit nearly blind, and he's very old, and I thought, well, this isn't going to end well. But, oh. he, uh, I don't know, he just everything cleared up on its own. Like, I was thinking, okay, next week, if it's still like this, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go, and... Mm. Yeah. It was all bit trick. Like nothing was ever yep. wrong with it. Yep. Oh. Thank God. Well, that's good news because you have two dogs right now, right? Yeah. Are you planning more? No. No. <laughs> 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 that was a resounding no, 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 no. Never again. No. No. I, I'm just a person that you know. I. I have trouble saying no, <laughs> even though you don't hear it right now, because I said very firmly no. <laughs> but when they come with a sad story, then I go like, oh, and yeah. Before you know so, it, you have a new puppy. Uh, and why did you go oh, this way? Uh, yeah, and it's, of course, not the most easy dogs. That yeah, because it's a rescue dog, right? Yeah, uh, she's very sweet, but she's got certain issues. <laughs> she's very stressed out, and um, only when she's here in my bedroom, she lies on the plays on the sofa, and um, she's very relaxed and calm. But everywhere else, if she gets the opportunity, she just keeps walking and running in circles, always clockwise. Um, yeah, the more stressed out she gets, the the harder she runs in little circles. Oh, really? Still? Yeah. yeah How long still. has she been with you guys now? Uh, oh, I think a year now. 
It has gone less, and uh, like in the living room, when I sit down calmly, then at some point she relaxes as well, and she lies next to me, or she just lays down. But um, as soon as I get up to get a coffee or whatever, she jumps up as well and goes in circles. No. Yeah, it's Poor really puppy. sad. And you need a lot of patience for that because it gets really on your nerves with the ticking, with, with you know, like on a constant ticking and of her walking, and mm -hmm. so you need a lot of patience. <laughs> yeah, I imagine so. How is she walking then? Uh, she walks around me in circles. When you walk her outside, yeah. I mean, really? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Say, um different topic for a moment um mm -hmm. we appear to be done in oh nice so maybe time to head back to the order hall yes ma'am um so i'm gonna <laughs> my other hearthstone is still on the golden lantern but i have this beautiful dot on the hearthstone now so we go back mm -hmm. to the order hall and pick a new yeah. zone do you have a favorite you want to go to um uh, what's the um you have false we have high mountain uh, azuna stormheim let's go to azuna azuna all right yeah. and when you get to dollar there should be an npc waiting for you telling you to go back to your order hall and work on your order hall quest line oh shoot i forgot to turn yeah. in the tier hang on I need to turn into tier of course i need to oh, turn into yeah. tier. yeah and I'm going to have to use all the artifact power that I've stacked up in my bag. <laughs> all the massive amount of artifact power. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. And see if I've got some gear upgrades instead. I checked it out while we leveled. Well, most of the items I didn't really have upgrade because, you know, I came prepared. Mm -hmm. uh <laughs> of course you did. Uh-huh. And some, um, because haste should be now my most important stat so yeah what is your item level right now then uh it's 698 i'm 700 ha 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 uh let's see for the tier you need to go to uh the central dollar on chamber yeah i see and Nomi also wants to see me in Dalaran. Fine. Turn in the I'm quests. Just, I'm just going to ignore Nomi. <laughs> <laughs> He's never, ever, ever getting any of my stuff again. That's another yeah. random thing they did. The random recipes bullshit. Yeah, I don't like that. You have a random chance at an upgrade. Or you can give your resource to Nomi. Have a random chance at a recipe and there. Or mostly get burned food. Mm-hmm. Random is fun, right? Right? No. Oh. No. Oh. Not when when you want achievements. <laughs> <laughs> Blizzard for achievements. What the yeah. hell? Come on, give me those two first aid quests, please. No first aid quest for you. You will never get that <laughs> achievement. Ever, 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 ever. So just do I need to wait for Tyrone to do something here or just go back out? Uh Tyrone does a speech, but I don't believe you actually need to listen to the speech if you just turn in the quest. You get a chest from Tyrone yeah. and that's it. And then okay. one automatically pops up, I think. Then I'll go to my order. What do you guys want? You want me to go back? Speak with Nobundo in the heart of Azeroth. A great ritual is about to take place, okay. Um, Ooh, great ritual. Speak with Nobundo in the heart of answer. Oh, yeah, they're going to work on um, getting the Elemental Lords back. But I don't think I want to do this quest line. Because this is all solo stuff. I mean, I'll talk to him if I have to. Come on, then, Nobundo. Do the talk. Now, go. how did I get back to my order hall, then? Uh, oh, if you go to Cress's Landing... You will oh, of course um, there he is, then. see the golden beam of light. If you're standing there, it will let you uh, fly up. Nebula, 
There is a fly rudely walking on my desk. Annoying. <laughs> what the fuck? It just... I can literally flick at it and it's not even scared. You blink on 6,000, give me. Die, little fly. What the fuck's wrong with you, man? Oh, sorry. I shouldn't be cursing. This is the new YouTube. You're not allowed to curse on the new YouTube. You're not? Nope. That means you're ad-friendly. Have, you, have you not been keeping up with the changes? Uh, no, sorry. Well, I mean, you are allowed to curse, but they'll categorize you as not being ad-friendly. And they'll just oh demonetize your videos, so you can't put advertisements on it. Yep. Times are changing. And a lot of advertisers also pulled away from YouTube because, um... I'm gonna say misinformation, but some of the advertisements ended up on products, videos that they didn't want their products to be advertised on. So they drew out and YouTube had to change the whole system. That was one weird ass fly. I wonder if he was in my tequila or something. Ew, maybe I drank. <laughs> Ew. Maybe he got oh, drunk with my gross. tequila. Ew. Oh, that's gross. What the hell, Fly? Why you do that? <laughs> he wanted to have a drink as well. Yeah, but that's my tequila, though. Let him buy his own tequila. Stupid flies. Wow, Neptalon talks a lot. I need to talk to Odin. Ew, Odin sucks.